Absolutely. Let's get to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, with our weather impact alert. So what should we expect for the rest of the evening, Chris? Well, the precipitation part of this is going to be ending, but the problem is the temperatures are still going to be colder and colder and colder overnight. So anything that is on the ground is not going to melt. It is going to be there. It is going to remain slick this evening, and it will be there early tomorrow morning, too. Now, yesterday we were stressing to you that even though these snowfall amounts weren't going to be that important, impressive, it would still be very impactful because the roads and the ground it's all very cold. So even a little bit of snow is causing some of the issues that we have out there tonight with those travel conditions. The back edge of the snow has already moved out. It's mainly now to the south and also to the east of us, and it's going to continue uh, moving on down to the south as well and moving away from us. Drier air is moving in during the evening hours. Unfortunately, it is also colder air that's moving in tonight too. You can see that earlier the cutoff line was roughly along I-85. Now it's all moving away way, but whatever is left on the ground and those higher amounts are on the south side. Those higher amounts that we have out there uh, where they're going to still see some of those accumulations for a while before everything starts to push away for the rest of the evening hours. And of course, that extends down to the Florida Panhandle too, where they had snow in Destin, Panama City along 30A today as well, and even back into Mobile, Alabama and into New Orleans too. Here's a look at Noonan where we started seeing that heavier snow come in a little bit earlier. So the snow has stopped there, but you can see there's still a lot on the ground and that is adding to the slick conditions uh, at Northside Hospital. Not as much snow that we've been seeing there right now and at Hartsfield Jackson. Uh, we're trying to see some improvements there. The delays though still at 81 minutes right now at Hartsfield Jackson as these temperatures that we have in our area right now are still very cold. Here's a look at some of the preliminary snow totals coming in. Columbus picked up an, uh, an inch and a half Fayetteville about an inch Noonan almost an inch Spalding County about three quarters of an inch fell here with that cold air in place. Melissa, uh, those temperatures continue to fall tonight. We're just waiting to at least get back above freezing for a right. brief period tomorrow. Uh, but unfortunately tonight with how cold the temperatures are, we're still in the middle of this deep freeze and that means as the snow ends, the roads will remain very slick and icy into tomorrow morning. We're expecting low temperatures in the teens tonight and the wind chills colder than that. We are going on nearly 40 48 hours straight at or below freezing here in Atlanta and that deep freeze is going to last for about another 18 hours. Look at tomorrow morning's low 17 wind chill 6 degrees tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon finally breaking the freezing mark here in Atlanta, but likely not until after we get towards 1 or 2 o'clock. Wind chills tomorrow afternoon though will still stay below the freezing mark. You can see if kids are in school tomorrow, this is what the wind chills will be for the bus stop single digits across the metro area and we get towards Towards lunchtime, still in the low 20s, and then finally by the afternoon, wind chills around 30 degrees. Bright sunshine tomorrow that will help to melt a lot of the darker pavement surfaces. But overnight tonight, we cannot stress enough, Chris, these roads are very treacherous and icy. They're not going to improve until road crews get to them or the sun comes up and starts to melt those things away tomorrow afternoon. And you can see why. Look at these temperatures. We're well below freezing 23 degrees right now in Atlanta. We will see that slow warm up coming back our way through the rest of the week. The mornings are still going to be very cold uh, in the 20s. Teens tomorrow morning, then 20s back to the 40s into the weekend, 50s for the second half of the weekend and another chance to rain here by Monday. We've got more to come next.